Hey guys, we're down here in Long Beach, California today at Long Beach Sport Fishing, located right off the 710 freeway down here in Long Beach, California. Standing next to me is Erica, the general manager. Erica, thanks for coming out today. Thank you, thank you for having me. Uh, so we came down here to get the scoop on what's going on at the landing and some of the new boats that are here, some of the changes. This landing has been here forever. I've been fishing out here forever. Um, so far the TV show, we're at 560 episodes and it was around episode number 70. We did the first episode aboard the El Dorado and this year we'll be back on the El Dorado. But uh, Erica, can you tell our viewers a little bit about the landing? Absolutely. Um, we have uh, several boats. We have a full day boat, um, three quarter day boat, a couple overnight boats, and um, we do day and a half trips as well. Uh, we have the commander which comes um, comes down for uh, for the season and um, returns back to San Diego in, in July with the El Dorado. Yeah, so both those boats go down for the tuna season. Correct, yes, they do. But the rest of the year they're up here. Yes, yes they are. Okay, cool. And I know the El Dorado likes to go fish San Nick and those islands offshore. Yes. And I'm guessing the commander's going to be a one day, day and a half trip. So yes, they go the opposite San direction. Clemente. Right, San Clemente. Um, they've been tuna fishing at the you know 60 mile bank where right. everybody else is. Um, so they kind of do the opposite of what the other what the other run does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just to let you guys know, we just talked to some of the crew members on the commander. They came in one of the skippers, and they just came in from a day and a half trip. Yes. And they had almost 50 tuna, and they lost a bunch more than that uh, fishing a 60 mile bank today. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. For they, April. Yeah, they did good. They did yeah. good. Now, the Eldorado, I know it likes to go to Nicholas, and is that all rock fishing, or is that yellowtail there too? Or um, there fishing? are some yellowtail caught, but mostly uh, shallow water, you know, 120 feet. Uh, Island produces quality fish. Um, usually, uh, El Dorado targets ling, so they, generally they, they come back with a lot of ling cod. Um, nice side sheephead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Lots most, of rock mostly fish. rockfish, yes. Cool. So, when people want to get more information on the fish counts and what's going down here at the landing, what's the best way for them to find out? Uh, they can go to the website at www.longbeachsportfishing.net um, and uh, we're on Facebook as well. Cool. And then when they sign up, is it do they call the office to do it, or is it strictly online, or how's no, it? No, they they can do either. Um, it, it's convenient sometimes off hours to do it online, um, but we also do accept uh, phone calls. Phone calls, absolutely. So you give them the option if they yes. want to do it online, they can do that. Yeah, generally sometimes we offer um, some of the boats offer a discount um, mm -hmm. if they do it online just for convenience, but um, we do we do take phone calls. Cool. And one thing to let you know about the trip we have on the El Dorado coming up in May. Uh, that trip, you have to go through our website at sportdeskfishing.com because we've chartered the whole boat. But for all the open party trips, go call over to Erica and she can help you out or you can go on their website. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, it looks like it's going to be a great season. You oh, have, yeah. And you guys have boats for everything. You have the small boats for small parties. You have dive boats. And like you said, you have the full day trips, the three quarter day trips, and the overnight island trips. Yep, and all, all the boats are uh, available for personal charter as well. Right. Yes. That's cool. Yes. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, don't forget to follow Long Beach Sport Fishing and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe right here to my YouTube channel to get all these video blogs. Well, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again really soon.